and welcome to Gary Vapes. And today we are looking at the Apollo e-cigar. Okay, so here it is, the Apollo e-cigar. As you can see there, up to 1,500 puffs, 18 milligram nicotine, and it is a disposable type e-cigarette now. We'll talk about that more when we go up. But yes, um, I have vowed not to do disposables, but I gave this a second chance because recently um, there was a need for one in my life. Um, so yes, um, I had to use the real thing because of a celebration, but if I knew there was something like this out there, it would have made life a little bit different. So we're gonna forget that and give this a bypass for this one time only. But let's open up and actually have a look inside. So nothing else in there. Uh, what have we got here then? So what's in the box? Tells you a little bit about it, stuff like that. And then here is the actual thing itself. It looks incredibly, incredibly realistic, actually. Um, I'm quite surprised how realistic that looks. Now, I do remember years and years and years ago, they bought something out like this before. Not Apollo, another company. And it really didn't look that good. And it wasn't that good to use either, if I'm completely honest with you. But this does look quite impressive. I mean, that looks phenomenally like a real thing. As you can see, a little like the burnt ash thing. I'm assuming that glows red or something when you puff on it. But yes, and it's a lovely size as well. It feels really, really nice. In fact, let's have a quick measure, shall we? Um, I finally managed to um, sort out my measurement thing. 18.1 uh, round. And as far as length goes, it is quite long, actually. You're looking around 15 mil, uh, 150 mil long. So, yeah, it's got a nice size to it, if I'm completely honest with you. I like the feel of that. Now, I'm assuming, yeah, there's a little tag at the top here. So what happens if you take that off? Oh, okay, so there's a little tiny, tiny hole at the very, very end there. But yeah, it feels really, really nice. It also feels like it's got like a clear coating on it sort of thing. I was a bit concerned, especially when I see the end of it like this, that maybe the moisture from your mouth may destroy it. But it definitely feels like it's got some kind of waterproof thing going on with it. But, oh yeah, there you go. There you go there, so it does glow. Now, it won't look as good as it does in real life. But yeah, hmm, okay, that is quite interesting. So yes, um... 100, um, well, 1,500 puffs with a 13 milliamp hour battery inside it, 16 milligram strength. Now, whether you'll get this in the UK or not because of TPD, I'm not sure. With 15,000 puffs, I'm going to say no, but hmm, be interesting anyway. But in saying that, just looking on their website, it is for saleable, uh, for saleable, <laughs> it is for sale in the UK, so huh, I'd like to think you could. But right, anyway, let's go up, let's talk a bit more about it, and we can give it a proper try. Okay, so yes, there it is, the Apollo e-cigar. Now, um, we all talk about the elephant in the room, <laughs> and not just because of my size. Um, yes, um, yeah, basically I thought, you know what, it's smart, it's sexy, it's cool, it's James Bondy, why not dress the part? It's got nothing to do with the fact that I had to buy a tuxedo recently, and I'm trying to get every single penny's worth out of it as I can. But yes, here I am. So this is the smartest you'll probably ever see me, because I do not like to dress up like this very often at all. Um, also, disclaimer as well, obviously I did say I'm not going to be doing any disposables anymore or anything like that, but to me, I don't really see this as a disposable. This, for me, I'll be honest with you, I assumed it would have a USB type charging type thing going on in there, um, but yeah, it's not the sort of thing that you're going to get people throwing around in the streets and causing all them sort of problems, and it's not something I really see as someone using every day, you know, it's like a special occasion type thing. Um, as I mentioned down below as well, I recently did go on a do, hence the reason why I had to buy this ridiculous outfit. Um, and yeah, um, I ended up having a bit of a real cigar, which was absolutely disgusting. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a thing that's associated with celebration and that, and you know, it felt right. And I see this after doing the Apollo video recently, and thought, I wish, I wish I'd known this existed. And as I said down below as well, they did used to do ones like this, not Apollo themselves, but another company, and they weren't very good. So, you know, it, I, I just wish I'd have seen this first. Um, yeah. But apart from that, that's that out the way. As far as information, just to clarify again, that these are going to cost you around £13 um, from Apollo directly. Um, that gives you obviously exactly what you see there. 1,300 milliamp hour battery. And it says 60 milligram on the website, but it says 18 on the actual box. So we're going to go with the 18. And it also says as well, um, and a little bit of bump that they put in there celebrate with friends cigars are a great way to mark a memorable occasion there you go like i was saying uh, but smoking's not exactly vogue these days luckily everyone can appreciate a rich vape without worrying about the da -da 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 clogging up the lungs blah 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 so yeah um yeah and again i kind of 
see where this would fit in and it's not sort of aimed at kids in any way anything like that so I personally think this is okay so yeah you'll have to give me a bit of a, a leeway on the old disposable thing on that side of things um, cigars are for moments celebrating style rich enjoy a rich classic tobacco flavour with a subtle earthly sweet undertones and notes of cider uh, cedar on the finish okay so it's going to be like a realistic cigar um funny enough having tried one not too long ago i should be able to remember so yes let's give it a go first thing i will say is i love the feel of this thing it feels the good size it feels like a proper cuban sort of cigar type size it doesn't feel cheap nasty anything like that nice and strong i say the looks of it is unbelievable i'm not sure if the camera will do it justice but it looks so realistic it's ridiculous even the end of it um it's come a long way from the days of when they just used to glow and it was like a fake looking sort of thing this looks really 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 real it's unbelievable as far as feel goes in your mouth as well because with cigars a lot of it is about the enjoyment of you know the, the experience of the whole thing it feels really really nice it feels nice in your mouth and yeah as i said down below as well it's kind of got like a waxy feel to it like a slippery feel to it so it's obviously going to be okay vaping on it all the time obviously getting quite wet obviously with 1300 puffs um 1500 puffs it's gonna it's gonna get quite wet so it's good to see that that is the case but yeah okay let's give it a go and see what we actually think shall we i love the end of it the way it glows it it really does look good and it's quite low down in there so it kind of looks like it is glowing from inside and you know you are sort of just seeing that ash type thing on the very very end and i'll be the first to admit as well that i'm not the biggest fan of tobacco taste type things but this does taste incredibly like the cigar i had recently but without that disgusting aftertaste you know it's much more subtle and it doesn't feel as bad for you but yeah it's for, you know i am no entrepreneur or you know any expert at all in any slight way shape or form when it comes to cigars but from what i do know that tastes pretty decent super smooth really really smooth it's not over the top either it's quite a subtle flavor very much like the real thing it's not sort of intense which is what i find with a lot of tobaccos that it's just too much for me this isn't it's it's quite a a relaxed chilled sort of flavor it's just just like tobacco really it's really really nice so there is more depth to it i'm not the best at tobaccos you know i'll be the first to admit that i don't really appreciate them for what they are but from what i can tell you it's it's not your ordinary gold of virginia type flavor you know a bog standard tobacco there's, there's more going on in there another thing i like is the airflow on it it's quite tight um, it's not ridiculously tight, I don't feel like I'm fighting it, but it's not loose, which I was a bit worried about, because one of the biggest things that surprised me when I was having that cigar a little while ago was the the restriction of it. It was quite restricted, and I'd forgot that, and I was chatting to someone who was talking about cigarettes, and they were saying that, you know, they vaped, and then they had tried a cigarette, and what they noticed was how tight they are, and yeah, it's weird. You kind of get used to the looseness and, and enjoy the looseness of vaping. Um, but this isn't. This is very, very much like the real thing. It's, again, as far as my uh, knowledge of them go. But I am very impressed with that. Okay, so that's the end of the video. And yeah, it's as simple as that. I am really, really impressed with that. I think that's absolutely fantastic. Now, my father, who um, used to vape for years and years and years, has started to go back onto cigars, slowly creeping over again, silly man. Um, I actually gave him one of these, so they sent me two, and he's actually really enjoyed it as well. So I was quite excited to see where I would be on that, because obviously not being a, a fond person of cigar smoking anyway. Um, but he seems to be doing really well on it. So yeah, I mean, again, if it's something that, that can help someone who, who likes the occasional cigar and go on to, you know, better things. As you say, there's not the nicotine, the tar, all that crap in there. There is the nicotine, that was wrong. Um, but there's not the, the bad parts of smoking a cigar that would normally be there. Um, so yeah, that, that's really, really good. And I say, it's the actual experience, the feel, everything else. Apart from the actual pure fact you haven't got that horrible taste afterwards, it's near on identical to the real thing. It's really, really nice. It even leaves you with a slight ashy flavour at the very end as well. It's, it's incredibly good. I would definitely recommend it. If you like a cigar and you found yourself, you know, being a vapor and you've gone back to a cigar here and there, give this a try. I think you'll be thoroughly surprised and um yeah i will definitely be buying some more of these for any more special occasions that may come up so 
Yes, very, very good indeed. Right, right. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do hit the like button. If you're not subscribed already, please do subscribe. And I'll see you again in the next one.